Hello and welcome back to the program with C++. Um, today we're going to look at the concept of loops. What are loops? We see loops are control structures that allow repeated execution of a block of code. So um, primarily what loops does is that um, it allows you to uh, execute a block of code um, repeatedly or multiple times. So we see they help performing um, repetitive tasks efficiently. Uh, so with loops, um, there is a condition that is supposed to be met. So the moment the condition uh, is met or it becomes false, let me put it this way, it becomes false, it stops. So uh, it checks if the condition is true. If it's true, per what you defined on your program counter, which you'll be looking at, um, it, it executes. The moment the condition tends to be false, it stops. So in C++, we have three types of loops. We have the for loop, the while loop, and the do while loop. So we'll be looking at them in our next lessons. So some common use cases of loops. So loops are used to iterate over arrays and then collections. You'll be looking at that. Loops helps in repeating tasks until a condition is met. We've already defined that in loops. Um, helps in generating a sequence of numbers. So in generating numbers from one to 100, or numbers, even numbers with a given range, loops helps with that. It helps in processing data streams, that is um, continuous streaming of data to a specific source, loops helps in that. So um, these are some best practices that uh, you should keep in mind when dealing with loops. So that with loops, first uh, to ensure the loop eventually, uh, ensure the loop condition eventually becomes false to avoid infinite loops. So um, basically um, in your code, you are supposed to make sure that um, at that point, um, the condition is supposed to um, turn out to be false so that you don't have a loop that runs without ending. When we see infinite loop, basically loops that does not end. Yeah. So, also the next is that we should use meaningful variable names for loop counters. Yeah. We'll be looking at them practically in our next videos. Also, uh, we should optimize loop performance by minimizing the necessary computations in the loops. We'll also be looking at that also practically in the next videos. Thank you.